Call to order the commissioners' meeting of February 10th, 2022, and it is 9.05. Uh, please join me for the pledge. questions? Seeing none. Any public input? Seeing none. Um, okay. Bob, since you're the only one here, come on up. Cool. Well, Bob, while you're meeting with Bob, I'm just going to go grab your papers for signature later, like okay. the minutes and stuff. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Right. Morning, Commissioners. Good morning, good morning, Bob. How are you? Very well, thank you. Um, I'm here to ask about uh, what we had discussed uh, in, in ARPA funding. Um, I had asked the commissioners to consider uh, two floor machines, floor cleaning machines, sanitizing machines for the nursing home, and a steam cleaner uh, to be put under the ARPA funds. You did? I did. And I had also said that uh, if I couldn't get them from ARPA funds, I was going to put them in capital. Okay. So I, I had two avenues okay. to get the funds. Um, I, be I believe that we've agreed to the funds that he needed for the equipment. So we haven't, we haven't yeah. formally committed it. I thought it was on the list of, it's on the list, of what yeah. we're going to do. It is. Yep. Since I have uh, Saturday, um, I'm going to be discussing this okay. with the delegation. Um, I think we need to make a decision today whether okay. you're going to allow me to um, expend these funds for ARPA. Okay. From, from ARPA. Okay. Uh, and if, if, if so, I'll um, gladly remove them from my capital so, request. And, and they come under, I forget which, uh, what section of ARPA they come under? It would be under infection control. Right. And that's a valid, that's a valid use. So. Yeah, I think we... Uh, can we... I can't remember how much we put on there. Do you have... 18,000 for the floor machines and 3,000 for the steam cleaner. Okay, so 21,000. Can we work with Bonnie to get that yep. to happen? And when do you need those funds? I mean, how soon do you? Well, I just order? need. I just need to. Well, I'd like to order them as soon as you okay. allow me to. All right. We'll uh, see what we can do today. So we, maybe we could process the check and. Yep. We'll see and what we can uh, to great. And if and if uh, if you approve this purchase, then I'll gladly remove them from my capital request on Saturday. So, um, do you want a motion? Yeah. What's the amount of the purchase? Twenty-one thousand dollars, total. Twenty-one thousand. Motion to. Approve the expenditure of twenty-one thousand dollars in ARP funding to, to pay for the floor floor paint cleaners fund uh, and steam cleaner. under ARPA uh, and steam, and steam cleaner, cleaner yeah. for uh, for sanitation purposes. Are you going to be going out to bid on these, or are you, do you have them already? No, I have the, the uh, I have them uh, I I have the machine that I want, and this is coming directly from the manufacturer. Okay. Uh, if I go through vendors, it's going to be more money. Believe it or not. Would you give us a written? Explain why you're going to. And we have to. Yeah. If yeah. it's over five thousand dollars, we do have to. Uh, Even with ARPA. Yeah. No. Especially with I think no, especially with ARPA. We got to make sure ARPA encourages <coughs> ARP and ARP using RFPs, but mm -hmm. uh, it's, I don't know if it's required. But could anyone offer them for less? I'm getting them direct from the manufacturer. Yeah. I think that. We can check Sometimes on the distributor might do it for us. I mean, I've seen but, that. Um, if you if you have a letter stating why you want to bypass the, I can go through the exercise if if if, if the it's not a time right. crunch. It, it's, it's not might, a time crunch. It, it would be helpful because ARPA does encourage. Okay. Doing an RFP. That's a fair request. Okay. Okay. So the boilers. And I'd prefer not to do exceptions if we can. So. Fair enough. I know it's a bunch of paperwork. But mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, I'm not on a time crunch. Okay. Okay. So I made a motion to allow twenty-one thousand dollars to be used for Marpa. Okay. I'll second. Um, all those in favor, say aye. 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 Thank so you. So we'll get with Bonnie and figure out what you have to do. Yep. I will remove these from my capital request and I'll move forward with um, okay. seeking. Uh, do you want me to go to bid or at least? Uh, um, 
at the very least, solicit three competitive quotes. I would. I think soliciting would be fine. I, 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 either way, either I, I think the competitive quotes would be fine. Yeah. Okay. Do you? Um, how, how's it going on the boilers? How did that go? Well, the boilers that I have running are fine. Uh, okay. the, the boiler that's not running is is still in its state, and uh, it, needs, it, it needs to be addressed. And that didn't come before the delegation. No. It didn't come up no, it has to come. No, okay. it did. It has to come to us first. Yeah. They're not going to approve it unless we do. Right. So, I know, and they're pushing for us to use alpha for that. For I don't know that we can. What would be the justification? We'd have to look at that, and I, um, but we'll get working on that so you can get that taken care of. Okay. All right. I did get a quote. Okay. Um, oh. I, I, I had estimated ninety thousand dollars, and yep. I got a, and I got a quote for uh, just just shy of eighty thousand. So oh. I was close. Okay. The the boilers in the annex, what are they? They're used for the heating the building. Which building? The, the annex. No. That they they don't heat the the nursing home. No. No, but the piping is interconnected. Uh, so they're backup. You can, well, you know, I can send water both ways. And the pellet boilers are in the same thing. They're in the same the water. They're in the same the loop. Yeah. And with um, you know yeah. proper pump control, can. I can send water in different directions. But we will need boilers in that building. When we yes. Have yes. So I would like to keep the boilers in the capital expense for the time being. And except for if we need the one right away, we can use opera for the one. No, I but don't know that we can. <clears throat> we need to I mean, if that. we can. It's, yeah. This is not an emergency okay. where I need to do it today or next week. Perfect. But this is something that I must get into the budget okay. for this year and deal with sometime during the year. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Um, so, do I have your permission to move forward with discussing this with the delegation? Yes. Which, the boilers? Yes. Sure. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, no reason not to. Okay. Um, I think. Do we have to make a motion to be for you to be able to put that in your capital expense? I think so. Yes. So moved. Okay. What was the total amount? Was it ninety thousand? I thought. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd still like to stick with my estimate of ninety thousand okay. dollars. Can we put not give... to exceed ninety thousand? Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Please. Okay. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's your motion. That's no, no okay. motion. And I will second. All those in favor, say aye. I I don't know the line item right now. <coughs> yeah, yeah, if, uh, but Melissa knows, I guess. Yeah, you would probably know, right? Yeah. Well, it, it would be um, it would be forty one ninety eight zero eight one. If you keep it under the facilities budget, or if you want to keep it under Mountain View, it would be fifty one fifty zero eight one. Because currently. The annex operates independently, but it is an extension of Mountain View. So. I'm going to say Mountain View because they haven't even started the subcommittee for that yet, so that might be fun. Why don't I put it under the facilities for okay. now, 4198, and okay. then uh, we'll see where it goes from there. Okay. okay. I trust your judgment, Bob. All right. Well, okay. the delegation will help decide that. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure they trust you, too. I hope so. Do you have an idea? Of course I do. That's all I have for you this morning. Okay. Thank you, Bob. All right, thank you. Okay. Kayla. Thank you, Bob. Hey, I know you're in a time crunch, no, so. No, 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 oh, I'm fine. I have to be somewhere at 10, but um, I apologize for running late this morning. It's okay. So, in, What's your, up? in your packet, I gave you a revised, proposed revised county attorney budgets. Um, I think they're red. Mm -hmm. the, oh, yeah. I, so I just stuck it in the final column so you could see what her proposal is. I believe it's just two budgets that yep. are impacted. The county attorney budget and the domestic violence prosecutor yep. budgets. That's what she would propose. So, <coughs> page four. Do you want another 754000 I know. That's the final. <laughs> I'm sure she'd love that. I wouldn't even just know kidding. how to spend that. <laughs> oh, yes, you would. <laughs> So um, thank you for taking the time uh, to meet with me. Since the commission approved my budget and I had proposed it, um, we have lost uh, two attorneys, which is 30% of our staff, to higher paid jobs. Um, and that made me reevaluate what we were paying here in Carroll County um, and look around the state for what other county attorney's offices are paying. And we are significantly lower again. For a while there, we were keeping pace, but everybody else went up. So um, I have 
proposed. Commissioner Desire is here. Oh. So this might be good. No, I'm going to be here. It's fine. Oh, okay then. So I crunched the numbers um, and came up with some numbers that get us closer to what the other counties pay. As uh, the commissioners are aware, I say this every year, that we can't just pay as much as Stratford and Belknap are paying because Stratford and Belknap is where I'm pulling my attorneys from. So if, they're, if I'm paying the same and they can get a job closer to home, generally speaking, that's what we do is we lose people. Um, right now we're losing one attorney to Concord um, because it's closer for him and uh, it's a better, better opportunity for him. And another attorney is going into private practice for a significantly higher um, pay. So, we can never um, compete with private practice. No, we can't. That's, that's correct. But Merrimack County and Sullivan County, from my understanding of speaking with their county attorneys, start their attorneys at $80,000. And we are starting at 65. What so, is, what does Grafton do? I don't, I don't know their starting pay. Okay. Um, I know Sullivan is the closest to us in terms of caseload and number of attorneys. So that is the one that I always use to compare us to. Um, and they are starting at 80, and that's how they're keeping people there. Um, so I don't want to start at 80 because we do have two other things that those counties don't have. One is that we have a uniform allowance of $500, and at the end of every calendar year, we have the potential for the attorneys to have $1,500 in uh, student loan reimbursement. So I took it down from 80 to 78 because I thought those two things kind of offset that. Um, I think if I raise the starting salary to 78, I'm going to keep people in, in their seat. It is still significantly lower than private practice where you can start at 90, 95, fresh out of law school. Um, this does not impact my budget a great deal. Uh, my overall budget under my initial proposal was a 0.1% increase. Um, at this point, even with that additional funding is only 1.8% increase over last year. Um, I'm asking to increase the uh, county attorney 4110 budget by $13,000, which is not a significant amount in the overall budget of the county. Um, the domestic violence prosecutor budget would go up by $10,000 just to um, be able to put that attorney in the same, in the same place. And that is uh, increasing them as of April 1st as opposed to January 1st, so it's a three-quarter adjustment. Yes. If, if you increase the starting salary, what does that do to the rest of the salaries? That bumps everybody. It just shifts everybody up to mm -hmm. as if they had started at that amount. Um, otherwise, we would have people starting at a higher rate of pay than the people that have been here for. And, the, and the, these are people right out of law school that are starting, or are they? Yes, that would. That's this is for correct. Right that would be fresh out of law school at seventy-eight thousand. Right now, what we have in our office is we have the county attorney, um, me. I have 25 years of experience, but there's no requirement that the county attorney have any experience at all. We have the deputy county attorney who has, I believe, five and a half years of experience. Mm -hmm. And then we have now left two attorneys with less than one year. Okay. So I'm giving those attorneys sexual assault cases because, unfortunately, I don't know, I don't have any other... I don't have anything else to do. <laughs> we don't have the personnel and we are not, I've, I've advertised this position, the one position has been advertised for almost a month now and I have exactly zero qualified applicants who have applied. I only had one applicant apply and they, they're not licensed in New Hampshire. So um, clearly our salaries are not sufficient to get people to apply for these positions. We are a little out of the way. We've always known that. It's, you know, our starting salaries are, you know, Young attorney salaries, they are not, you've been, you know, practicing for five or six years salaries. So uh, what we're looking, you know, our target is a 25, 26 year old and we just don't have 25, 26 year old attorneys moving up here. They are moving to Dover, Concord, Manchester, you know, the cities where there, there's more for young people to do. Um, so it, it, it is a matter of trying to make this position here in Carroll County one that will attract people to the county. Um, I think this is what it's going to take. This is what my assessment has been as I look around the state at the attorney's offices who are keeping people and are not in those, those 
metropolitan areas, they are paying quite a bit more than we are. Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to be operating with 30% of our attorneys gone in a week. How much of a raise did we give um, in the current budget, you know, the current proposed budget? 5%. 5 percent. Five percent. So this 754, Michaela, does that include your new starting salary? Yes. And the 5 percent and everything? That, well, it wouldn't be 5 percent over the new ones, right? The new ones, right. correct. So it would just be basically a market adjustment without a raise. Is it absorbs that five percent as part of that market adjustment? Why? Why is this coming to us? We've already approved the commissioner's budget. I don't know. I was told to be here. Yeah. By whom? The, the delegation will not approve it until we approve it. Put no, it we already budget. did our work on the budget. They can do whatever they want, but we already did our work on the budget. I don't think we can change what we we've already submitted. I don't even think legally we can do that. I, I believe that the commissioner's budget is due on December 1st for the delegation. Which we, we did. had that deadline. We had all these hearings where we did all of this work that yeah. apparently the delegation didn't care about or couldn't view or whatever their choice to not participate was, but now we've done it. Why would we redo what we've already done? Seems like the county attorney went in and presented so they know what we know. They need to make a decision about the budget. They need to step up and do it. I mean, it, if it needs to be done, I'm uncomfortable. I'm sorry, I'm uncomfortable re redoing the budget. Um, I hear your reasoning. If I could make a suggestion, I think that if the commission said that they would have approved this had this been done prior to December 1st, perhaps that would be sufficient for the delegation just to indicate that there is support for it, even though you are not going to change your budget. I don't know. I but guess I'm confused as to whether they care about our opinion or they don't. Like, why, why does it matter what we think? They're the delegation. They heard from the executive of that office. They heard from an elected official about what she needs to run her office. Make a decision that that's sufficient. Or don't and stand by your decision. Stop playing, push it on somebody else. Like you heard the facts, make a decision. That would be my point of view. I don't know why we're. I think they need to do their job. And but why they're how they got on a commissioner's agenda is on me. They need to make the decision. I don't think we can do anything. I think we, you know, at the time we did our budget, the five percent raise, and it was five percent across the board for every employee. It was, you know, that's what we, we've budgeted, which was a big raise. So, and I, we're, balanced, we're looking at a big tax increase. I think there's no better person than the county attorney to decide what she needs. Yeah. And they should have had her in and listened to her, which I'm, I'm, that's my understanding they did. And now they should make a decision about what, whether they're going to give her what she needs or they're not. I think it's just because I didn't actually bring this to the commission because this occurred after it I had submitted after. my my budget, um, and so I was making a revision, a revised request. Um, in the past, I have not had to bring that back to the commission, um, but I was just asked to be here, so I am here. I apologize. I don't know any more than than that. My um, my feeling is we generally defer to you yeah. on what you need. Um, and had you brought us, and had, had you, you brought this to us, yeah. I, you know, we would have given great de deference to your request. I can't say how we would have come out because it's a hypothetical, and you know how how it goes, mm -hmm. you know, reading the tea leaves, etc. But we would have given tremendous deference. We always do. And, you know, when you needed the paralegals, we gave you the paralegals. You know. Had you brought this to us, I mean, it's likely you would have gotten it. I, I can't say what would have happened. If I think that's the luxury of being a commissioner is we're here more often. So yeah. I heard from Attorney Andrews. This is not a surprise. I already knew she needed this. I also think the people that you bring in are getting, I'm sorry. Excuse <laughs> me, are we, uh, <laughs> this the, is not a. I, I know. All right. So that's the way that you feel, then that's fine. Discussion is over. It'll go back to the. 
the uh, delegation on Saturday. And in that case, you, could you please call Dominic and tell him there's no need for him to come here either. I will. He can't. He was coming with the same yep. request. So tell him. No, nope. yep. it's up to the delegation. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have a nice seat. Okay. Lisa. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to step out and call the sheriff. Okay. Okay. I believe you have a RFP for roller shelving in front of you. If um, on Saturday at the delegation meeting, the delegation took the twelve thousand dollars out of the new equipment line of my budget, um, asking me to pay for the roller shelving out of the deeds equipment account which is fine. We have funds in the equipment account to do this. Therefore, they didn't take the whole 20, the whole, they took, they took 12,000 of the 12,565. Therefore, in order for this to get back to the delegation, for them to approve an expenditure from the deeds equipment account, um, I prepared the RFP now in advance and a request to you asking you if you would approve an expenditure up to $12,000 from the deeds equipment account for roller shelving. The RFP is asking for bids for two different quantities. I've heard rumor that the prices have gone way up and delivery has gone way up. So the first quantity is five units. The second quantity is eight units and uh, three end panels, which we need for the, for the ends. And depending on what the prices are, um, we would order as much as we could with that amount of money. Any questions, Commissioner Fudge? No. No, you are doing, uh, this isn't the RFP, is it? Yes, yes. Okay. There's the RFP, and then there's the request for okay. you to um, allow the expenditure. Yeah, I, I think it, you need these shelving. So. Yes, we do. It is what it is. Questions? Sorry. No, any questions? Do you need us to approve this today? Or yes. Yes. Because she can't. Yeah, she has to. Then it has, then to, it has to go back to the delegation on right. Saturday for them to approve the expenditure from the deeds equipment account. So I move to um, authorize the register to register to uh, issue this RFP and for the roller shelving. I mean, do you need more better language? I don't know. No. Okay. Seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. Would you approve the expenditure from the deeds equipment account to pay for the roller I'd shelving? I'd like to yeah. move to approve the expenditure from the deeds equipment account to pay for the shelving. Seconded. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Thank okay. you. I'll get this right out. Okay. Well, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you. So next we have approval of the minutes for January 27th. I think those are the ones, and I think, um, Commissioner, sorry, you checked. I saw you checked off on my my list for the non-public minutes. Yep. So these are okay? They're good to go. Okay. Motion to approve these minutes okay. for January 27th. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Okay. So from February 3rd. I read them this morning. They look good to me. Did, I only had one question, Madam Chair. Did sure. we do a hiring last week? Yes. 
because I didn't. Did, oh, no, it might have been the other one. I well, that's what I was. Um, it's at the bottom of page one. Um, okay, so. you chose not to seal And not to seal that one, but yeah. then we had an other business and then another yeah. non-public. Yes. Okay, good. Oh, Joe, these are for you. If you want to. Any questions? No. No? You're all set? Yep. Okay. Motion? We move to uh, approve the minutes of February 3rd. Seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 I'm waiting for an email confirmation on what the manifest total was last week. Okay. I'm just waiting for that sure. number. That's good. Okay. So we can wait for that. Um, okay. Joe, are you ready yep. with a report or do mm -hmm. you need more time? So uh, you want to do Hales first or? Uh, Whichever. Yeah, okay. Let's do Hales. Okay. So the first thing I have is the warrant that needs to be signed by the uh, three selectmen. And then I also have... A warrant for what? The uh, Hales location. This was the budget you approved last week. You already signed the warrant. All Did I can tell you it? is I got a warrant here that needs to be signed. Another one? Yeah. For what? Oh. And then I got the MS-22. The MS-26. We, we signed this. Yeah, we signed this whole packet last week. We did all of this. All I know is this is what I was just handed. In the other one? Um, I think we just did the six. The, the 26 and 22. Did, didn't we sign the warrant, too? Yeah, because the warrant was attached to everything. Remember, we signed, we signed the warrant everything. like 10 times. We signed it. Where did it go? These are the ones you just dropped off to me yep. on Monday. Yep. And maybe not the same one. Kind of come on and clarify why we're signing what because we've already done this. This is the warrant for the. The only thing we can do is call the niece and ask her. Um. <coughs> Yeah, you can call Joe if you want to give her a call. Um, I think these are different. We did the 626 or whatever last time, didn't we? We did the town budget, and then we did the school budget separate from the town budget, and then we did an overall packet that included all of the documents to include the warrant. But then the warrant was attached to just the town budget, and it was attached to just the school budget. So we actually signed the warrant, and it needed an extra copy. We signed the warrant four times. Oh. Hello. Hi, Denise. It's Joe. Hi, Joe. How are you? Good. I'm here with the commissioners, and they have a question. Okay. Hello. Oh, so hold on. Denise, the commissioners um, are confused with all these other warrants you just gave us, and they feel that we signed them all last week. No, they're uh, the next step. I have to do with the minutes. different MSs. That's what I thought, but they're saying no. There are different ones. Okay, so we have the MS 26, 636, the warrant, and an MS 232, and an MS 22. Right. So these all have to be signed and returned to you? Yes, and I have to send them to the DRA okay. with the minutes from the last week's minute. Right, uh, I've already, yep. So we approved these last week. No, she's saying they're separate warrants. But what are they separate warrants on? What do they do? What do they do? It's the finalizing the budget that you approved. It's finalizing the budget that okay. we approved. Okay. We signed them last week after we approved them. But maybe those were just drafts or something? I don't know. Those were the, the beginning of the budget for you guys to approve. 
Now I have to do the exam that says to show that you did approve them. The 232. In the actual. Okay. What you approved. Okay. Denise, has anything happened between last week and this week? Did Hales make a vote? Did this get circulated to the town of Hales as a public document so they could make comment? And now we're finalizing. Like, do you do you know yeah, what the difference is it was between? Posted before you met last week, twenty days before. Right. Uh, my question, Denise, is: Did anything happen between last week and this week? I, I get that you no. need these to send these to the, but I'm trying to make sure they're not changes. There's no additions. Additions and just approving what you approved of the budget. What did we sign last week? Different ones. I just don't, I guess I don't understand the process. And if I don't, I don't know how the people at home do. But the ones we signed last week, where did they go? Back to Denise. Denise. They're a separate form. They're okay. the MS, so let's whatever and whatever. Well, if, yep. Denise, if you need these signed, I guess this is what we approved. So. Yes. Okay. Does anyone uh -huh. review them to? No, I don't. Verify the amounts. Are the same as what we approved? This is what we approved last week. But it doesn't have the... The totals. It says the totals. Now, Terry, I just offered another folder at your house. Did you get that? Yep, I have that. Okay. Or Joe has it now. So what we signed last time was okay. this packet. I'm just checking the amount. It was a 636, the MS 636. That's different. It is. No, so what's it's a 636 the, there. What's the difference, though? And there was a 26, which is the school, right? Yeah, well, the 22 is the school, I thought. This is the annual budget, and that was in the amount of two hundred thirty-eight seven thirty. Do you have this page too? This was the simplification. Does it match what's on this? Okay, this is different. So what we approved in the minutes is two hundred thirty-eight thousand seven thirty-nine for the annual yeah. budget. That's in, that's for the annual budget. And what's, right. what's on the form is 289,038. Why is that? Is it minus in the school out of it? It's just too, no, I, I don't know. It's too, it's just, I'm just looking at the. Okay. You no, know, 289,038. I'm in my car and I'm going to my other job right now, so I can't oh. really answer because I don't have the forms in front of me. Okay. So, I'm just look, comparing um, to the minutes. I'm not comparing to the other form. That's all. If if we didn't approve the right amount in the minutes. Uh, yeah, it seems like the minutes are incorrect. What's on the What's on the minutes? Two hundred thirty-eight thousand seven thirty-nine. Yeah, that's a mistake. That was for the whole budget. No, that's that's not a number that's anywhere on the form. 289.38 is what that's is what highlighted in yellow that we are supposed to approve. That's what we approve. I'm pretty sure because we read right off the thing and it was yeah. a huge deal. So the minutes are wrong. The minutes are incorrect. So I'd like to move that we undo the approval of the minutes. And make an, no. and make an adjustment. The, minute, the minutes are correct. No. It's just I think when I do this form, it backs out the school portion. Right. Because the other form no. the school. No, the school portion is 120000 But the number in the minutes is nowhere on your Carroll County Hales Location 2022 proposed budget. It's not on the school portion. It's not. It's a number not reflected anywhere on any piece of paper we have. All right. I, I, I can't answer unless I get the forms in front yeah. of me. The, the, number, the number in the minutes is 50000 less um, than the number on the form. Here's what, if I might. Yeah. I, th I think what happened in the motion is that you voted on the estimated amount to be raised by taxes, which is two thirty-eight seven thirty-nine, instead of the. Um, I don't operating. think so because we were talking about it. We were saying we had to do what was in yellow, right? 
instead of the um, the two eighty nine well, number. It's probably what that's where the number came from. So that's it is a not it's just so not the right one. That's the estimate of what had to be raised for taxes. So yeah, we, we should have the wrong number. We should have voted on the two eight nine zero three eight. And but apparently we did not the amount to be raised by taxes. So without going back and watching any video, so I can't one? verify yeah, that. I can correct the minutes if you want to make them. Okay. So I don't want to. Wanna, I want to take a recess. Like this just looks bad because we don't know what we're doing. Let's take a recess. Go over all the documents. Make sure we understand what we're doing, and then sign stuff. Well, we know what we're doing okay. because we have Denise on the phone. Yeah, you. Uh, we know what we have to do. Should have been two eighty something. I yeah. believe. And I, I made the motion, I might have read the wrong number. So we can correct that. I'm not sure of it. I can relook at the forms uh, tomorrow morning. Okay. But I can't do anything from here right now. Could, I, I would I think we need just need to correct the uh, the minutes. Yeah, the whole budget the right was number. 280 something. I yeah. don't have the figure right in front of me, the budget. Well, um, I think last year's was the 235 something. Okay. So, can we make? Can I make a motion to correct the minutes then, to reflect the, the, the to correct the 238,000, That should be instead of that number, should be the 289,000. That's this one. No, it's the 22. What's the correct number? It's 288. Here it is. 289,000. Yes. $289,038. Right. Yeah. So I make that motion. Second? Nope. Not for me. I will second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Commissioner Tassari abstained or? Abstained. Anything else? No, I'm voting no for the purposes of the record. Send her those amended minutes. I'm yes. Set. I mean, no. Okay, uh, Melissa. Okay. Printing off a new set for signature. Okay. Um, corrected set. Yeah. <clears throat> Check. Are we concerned that we voted on the wrong number last week? Is that the concern? Okay. I didn't even get to see a single document. I didn't even get to see the warrants at all for today. I'm not comfortable moving forward. I, how can you even ask me these questions? I never even saw the documents. I never even got a chance to review them. How could I be comfortable then voting or signing? Or well, we should review them. But I didn't sign them. And I voted no, so I'm not going to hold the, hold the meeting up. My vote is not required. It's not necessary. We have a check uh, from Hales for Freiburg Academy in the amount of $17,900. Okay, you're down with me? Yep. I think so. All right, thank you. Thanks, Denise. Bye. All right. Okay, we need to sign that invoice, and I need a motion to allow Joe to sign the check for this is for a private academy for the two students. Or one student is down there? Two students. Two? That pays for two students for half the year? Yep. That pays for one semester for two students. Here, show that to Kim. Well, she's just got to sign that. Yep. Did you take 
a manifest approval yet? Uh, yes, if the little sticky note that I passed down. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you do. I think you might have put it on the inside of your folder. I did. Take that. Okay, goes back to Joe. Do you need a motion? Yes. I'm waiting for Matthew. A motion to allow Joe to sign the check. I move to allow Joe to sign that check. How much is the amount again? $17,900. $17,900 okay. to uh -huh. pay the Freiburg Academy for the student. Okay, seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 So everything else is done. Okay. okay. That takes care of Hale. Okay. On the treasurer's um, report, the only thing I have is I did speak to uh, Bambi um, at Bank of New Hampshire again today. Um, she had not heard from Ronell, and so she was going to get in contact with Ronell about uh, uh, the split, how much can be non-taxable and so forth, and then she's going to issue us a commitment letter. And once we have that commitment letter, I'll get the commissioners to sign it, then we can move this process forward on the uh, tax anticipation note and close on it. Okay. Unless anybody has any questions, that's all I have. Okay. Um, we don't have any line item transfers or any, are we going over? Come on. <laughs> what was that? It's time for court. Oh. <laughs> um, there's an encumbrance sheet in your pocket from Bonnie. Oh, does Bonnie need to come up and? Why don't we have her explain it? Yep. Yeah, I think uh, so. She would like to also have a non-public to discuss a couple of things with the commissioners. Yep. If now is a good time to have her come up. Sure. Yeah. Do we have yeah. nothing else? What number or what, uh, what are we going in? Um, so you also have a request from the superintendent for hiring. I don't know if you want to combine the two sessions. Sure. I would say A, B, and C. Okay. Are we ready to do that now? Okay. Do you want to have Bonnie? Yes, I will. Yeah, she's available. Okay. So we have two sessions. Do you want to do the manifest number before we go into on public or after? Um, I can do it now. So the manifest for the week of February second is six hundred and fourteen thousand six hundred and ninety-four dollars and eighty-six cents, and payroll was two hundred and seventy-eight thousand seven hundred and ninety-seven dollars and one penny. I make motion that we go into non-public under RSA 91A3, Roman numeral 2, subsections A, B, and C. And it is 947. Second. Second. Anna. Yep. Second. All those in favor, roll call vote. Commissioner Tassari. Aye. Commissioner McCarthy. Aye. Commissioner Flash. Aye. Thank you. 947. So I away a motion to come out of non-public motion to come out of non-public and seal okay. no. the, the minutes except for B B right second seconded all those in favor say aye aye aye, aye. Total 21 <laughs> And we did have a new hire at the House of Corrections at Joseph Crocker. Joseph Crocker, new hire at the House of Corrections. Okay, um, I guess media questions, none. Public input, none. To vote on the not to exceed, don't we? Yep. We're going to do that? Okay. Let me go grab that if you have it. I don't have I don't have it, I don't think, so I don't know what we do on it. I'm gonna bring it up with me. Oh. Yeah. Today's the last day we can So you think that we should just recess. Are you planning on coming on Saturday? I don't know. No? I don't know. Yes. No, not a chance in hell. I'll be there. 
can't wait. Saturdays are the day I spend with my lovely children. We have mommy time, and I would not uh, choose to miss that for something that doesn't, where my vote is not a deciding vote. So. I make a motion that we vote to accept the New Hampshire Interlocal Interlocal Trusts not to exceed rate for the county's health plan. Um, we were quoted an initial rate um, that was about 14%, and it's now come down to a rate of 11.77, which means that the county employees' premiums wouldn't go up more than 11.77%. I second the motion. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Chris has already signed it, so do we need to do anything? I think once do we need to authorize him, he'll send it off. Do we need to authorize him to sign it? If you'd like to, just a matter of practice. But I'm chairing a motion that we authorize the HR director to sign this. Second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you. Okay, so seeing no other business, um, we are going to recess um, until our next call meeting or until Saturday if there is a quorum for the delegation meeting. Madam Chair, may I bring something up? You may. If this is hypothetical, let's just say you had to have an emergency appropriation because something happened on, on campus. You would vote then to appropriate a certain amount that you needed and then send that appropriation, that request to the delegation if it's after the budget's already been settled? Is that, would that be the process? If it's an emergency appropriation. I would assume we would have to. If it's an emergency, we'd have to pay have to get somebody in here. It depends on the emergency. It depends on what line it's coming out of. Is there money in a line for that? Is there a fund we can ask for? For instance, is it a COVID-related emergency that we could get a grant or something for? It would be very fact-specific as to what the emergency is, I would assume. And finally, I would just add my own opinion that I think that was the right decision, that the budget that you passed, I'm sorry, the budget that you created was properly sent to the delegation which the delegation now owns. That's my opinion. So Thank I think you. that was the correct answer. They can ask your opinion, but they now own it. If they need or want to appropriate more funding for a department or something, then they have the authority to do that. I don't think you do at this point. In other words, you think they should do their job instead of sending it back to us in hopes that we'll do their job for them? Well, there may be, they may have been, there may have been a miscommunication to what was actually being requested from you. It may not have been a vote. It may, may have just been a review, an opinion. I don't know. It was very confusing what they were actually asking you to do. But they don't generally care about our opinion, so why would they start now? We are a nation of laws, so. I think that. It, they own the budget. I don't think there's anything we can can do. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree. If with they you. want to increase certain line items, I think it's it's on them, and they need to do that. Yeah. Which is fine. That's the failsafe, I believe. They've done it. They did it last year. They increased a lot of line items. I was under the impression that they just wanted to know if we went along with that, what our feelings were about but both of those. Do they want our feelings because they don't want, when they approve the expenditure, they don't want, uh, they want to be able to say, well, the commissioners approved this as well? Like, because it's their budget. They, I agree. And I don't. Last I, year I, they issued a statement saying we were over budget. Yes, we were over budget because they raised the budget. Right. But that's and not what their statement said. And I, I just, I try not to look at if they have hidden agendas, so. Anyway, so it's gone Maybe back to them. Maybe they don't know what to do. So 
So. Do you think okay. it's just they just don't know what's the right thing to do, or I mean, if you know, well, they'll be making a decision on Saturday. Or? Yep, okay. I think so. Thank you for taking my comment. Thank you for your comments. Okay. Okay. So we're in recess, recess. and it is 12.27. It's so much later.